Mogul Motivation, educating and empowering entrepreneurs one week at a time. Presented by True Stories Media. And I am your host, Antoine Twiz Taylor. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Mogul Motivation. What is your core competency of your business? When you sat down to write the business plan for whatever it is that you do, what is it the one thing that your business is skilled at knowledge will win? What is it the one thing that your business is bringing to customers, to clients? Whatever that one thing is, you have to stick to that. Of course, we talked about last week in part one of this mini series, Master Your Market. We talked about how inflection points change and you have to always innovate and industries change, such as the television industry. It went from radio to television to DVD. Now it's video on demand. Of course, things change. But your core competency never will change. It might evolve, but it never changes. It's still the same thing at the root of it. For example, we talked about Disney, about how Disney, they own all of these different media platforms. But Disney started out as an animation studio and it's still an animation studio today, among other things. But at the root of it, their core competency is storytelling. They tell stories. What is the core competency of your business? No matter how small you are, Stick to that and remain true to it and continue to deliver to your customers and your clients. Usain Bolt is the fastest man on earth, the fastest man the world has ever seen. He holds the world records in the 100 meter and the 200 meter dashes respectively. But why don't Usain Bolt run the 400? How come he doesn't run the 800 or the mile? Because that's not his skill set. Sure, he could probably run a 400 or 800 and a mile faster than myself and many other people out there listening. But it's not his core competency. That's not where he performs at the highest level. He performs at the highest level in short distance sprints, the 100 and the 200. Your small business performs at the highest level doing what you do, doing what you're skilled at, what you're knowledgeable in, what your intellect is. And when you sat down and started writing that business plan, you figured out and you knew what your core competency was. That's how we master our market. We have to not only pay attention to inflection points in our industries, but we have to remain true to our core competency, whether we're a one man solopreneur business or we're a multi million dollar business. Never forget your roots. Never forget what you're striving to do and what your mission is to deliver to customers and clients across many industries. It's really that simple. You know, sometimes we overcomplicate things and we try to do too many things. We try to do this and we try to do that. We try to do this. We try to do that. We try to get multiple streams of revenue from different things that end up flopping. Focus on what you are good at. Focus on what you're great at and what you know about your skill set. If you focus on that, the revenue will come and your business will continue to grow. And then you can begin to branch out to other things that complement your core competency. Stop overthinking. Stop trying to do too much at once. One mistake that small businesses make is we try to do too many things. We try to overfill our menus if we have a restaurant or we have a service business. We try to provide too many services. If we have a product business, we try to make too many products when we haven't even mastered the one thing that we're already good at. So now we're oversaturating our customers and clients with all of these different products and services. We dilute our value. Focus on what you started on. Focus on what you began to do in the first place and everything else will start to follow. So that's my message this morning in part two of our mini series, Master Your Market, your core competency, stay in your lane. Never forget what your lane is and continue to run at that. And then the flock will come to you. So let's continue to work. Let's continue to imagine reality. Continue to do what your mission is, your value is, your vision is. And you will get to that next level. Have a great day. I'll talk to you next week.